I've owned my HMG 2400 Windrider for well over a year now. It's been on hundreds of miles of hiking with me. Uh, I've really put it through its paces, but I've recently picked up this bad boy, which is an Atom Plus, made by Atom Packs, custom made right here in the UK. So I really can't wait to show you the differences, the features, and all of my thoughts. It's really time for a solid comparison. Let's go. Hello fellow hiker and world traveller, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. Now I've loved my HMG 2400, it's been my trusty companion for well over a year, but I thought it's really time for me to switch something out, ready for the PCT next year. I just wanted to try something new with a different configuration. There's so many similarities between these two backpacks, so many differences as well, so I thought they'd make a very good comparison. Now I came across Atom Packs uh, earlier in the year and I've been doing some video content for them. Uh, I went up to uh, the Lake District to the Atom Pack HQ where I saw this backpack being made and for the content that I've created for them they decided to give me this backpack for free so thank you very much to the team at Atom Packs. I absolutely love this backpack. I've been on a few overnight hikes with the Atom Plus testing it to its highest capacity and also having a bit of a lower weight added in this backpack so I've really gotten used to the differences. So why did I make the switch to this backpack in particular? Stick around I'm going to tell you exactly how but first let's go over these backpacks side by side. I'll go over some of the features and the specs as well as some wear and tear and a balance of likes and dislikes. These are both 40 litre backpacks but very different beasts. Let's first talk about the pricing. The HMG 2400 starts out at $310 which is £249. The Atom Plus on the other hand is £195 which is $236. So you're definitely getting a saving of about 50 quid with the Atom Plus. These are expensive packs, but these are specifically designed for the ultralight backpacker, which brings me next on to weight. The HMG 2400 in black is heavier than the white one, but this is the black one, so I'm gonna focus on the specs for this one. It comes in as standard at 916 grams, which is 32.34 ounces. This particular Atom Plus with added removable hip belt pockets and added removable hip belt, the heaviest VX21 fabric that Atom Packs does, comes in at just 810 grams, which is 28 ounces and as standard is 650 grams which is 22.92 ounces and again the Atom Plus comes up trumps at 100 grams less than the HMG even with the added customizations. Okay, so that's some of the specs and the pricing. Let's go over the fabrics. Both of these backpacks are made out of completely different fabrics, although they do look quite similar. The HMG 2400 in black comes in a Dyneema composite fabric with 150 denier polyester face. This particular fabric is five ounces per square yard, which is 170 grams per square meter. This backpack is basically made out of the strongest fiber known to man, Dyneema composite fabric, incredibly strong, incredibly light, incredibly waterproof, but it is an incredibly expensive material. DCF is a laminate fabric. The Dyneema filaments are sandwiched between two layers of polyester film and then it has that 150 denier nylon face added on top to protect against abrasion. It has one of the highest waterproof ratings that any fabric can get which is more than 20,000 millimeters of H2O. So yeah you definitely know where your money's going with this backpack. The Atom Plus, on the other hand, is made out of a completely different material, which is X-Pack VX21. It's 203.4 grams per square meter, which is six ounces per square yard. It has a 210 denier nylon face, and inside is a reinforcing polyester cross grid. Hence the name X-Pack or cross pack, however you want to call it. This is still a laminate fabric, but made out of completely different materials. Instead of Dyneema filaments inside, this has a 0.25 PET film inside, which is in sandwich between a 50 denier white backing, then the reinforcing polyester cross grid and a 210 denier nylon face. And that's what you see on the top here. So here's the trade-off. While the HMG 2400 is more waterproof than the Atom Plus and DCF is stronger for its weight than VX21, VX21 is much more durable against abrasion because of that 210 denier nylon face. While the HMG is made out of DCF all the way around the backpack the atom plus i really like this as well it's made out of a completely different material which is a 500 denier nylon cordura which is on the back so when you're wearing this backpack it's a lot more breathable on your back and it stops the sweating so much um, whereas to be honest i didn't really notice too much discomfort with the hmg but with the 2400 when i've been wearing it i definitely noticed the difference in comfort even though it didn't really pose too much of an issue in the first place that's just one of those things that you learn when you're trying out new backpacks like this while you're hiking your back is always going to get sweaty Sweaty, but that's another one of the things about trying out these different backpacks and different things of gear so that when you're used to something and you don't think that there's an issue and then suddenly you try something new and you're like ah that's so much better than I already thought it would be then definitely trying out these new materials is always a really good thing to do. There are of course different materials on the other components of these backpacks but I will go over those in just a moment. 
Okay, so that's materials. That definitely moves us on to how waterproof these backpacks are. Both of these backpacks are made out of incredibly waterproof materials. However, DCF does have a higher hydrostatic head rating than the VX21 used on the Atom Plus. But the big difference is that the HMG does come seam sealed as standard, giving you that added protection against the elements. The Atom Plus doesn't come seam sealed as standard, but I've got a DCF pack liner coming from Atom Packs, uh, which should be here soon. And it's actually custom made for this backpack with the added two inches. So that's really amazing as well that they do that. And it's custom made for this backpack. So I know that it's gonna fit exactly. The alternative that's a lot cheaper is that you can go online and buy some really heavy duty rubble sacks, or you can just go to another store and get a dry bag from there. Problem is they won't fit the backpack as well, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Regardless, over time, the seam ceilings in the HMG 2400 have started to come loose, and that's definitely expected with over a year's worth of wear and tear. These things are gonna happen. So over time, I've actually started having to use a pack liner with the HMG 2400. So for me, it's not really much of a big deal. I took the HMG out in the pouring rain not so long ago up in Snowdonia, and when I got into my tent, I opened the pack. Luckily, my sleeping bag and everything was in its own Dyneema pod, so it was still dry but there was just a pool of water at the very bottom of my backpack, just where rain has seeped through the seams. So over time, these things aren't waterproof forever anyway. How important this trade-off is to you between these two backpacks all depends on how much you're really willing to not have a pack liner or whether you don't mind at all. It's just one of those things. But like I said, you're gonna need one for the HMG eventually anyway. Okay, so that's materials. That brings us swiftly on to the overall look and feel of these backpacks. As you can see, I'm a dark and mysterious chap. These backpacks do look incredibly similar, but there are a lot of really subtle differences and things that I was able to pick out in the process of Atom Packs actually making this backpack. By the way, if you haven't seen my video of this backpack being made, I will put a link just up here so you can go and check that out. These packs both have a roll down top. They're both the same color. The Atom Plus, however, is much slimmer than the HMG 2400, meaning in the HMG, you can actually stuff things side by side in the pack. Whereas in the Atom Plus, you have to stack things on top of each other more. But the trade off for that is that the Atom Plus is taller, whereas the HMG is wider. I think in terms of look and feel, this all comes down to preference. I haven't noticed the fact that the Atom Plus being taller than the HMG, meaning the weight distribution of all of the stuff that's in the backpack, making a difference between whether it's more comfortable or not. Uh, but I actually prefer the way that the Atom Plus looks because it's much slimmer. There are, however, loads of different components to these backpacks, which are at first glance are really quite similar, but as we dive deeper into this comparison, you'll see all the differences. The HMG 2400 Windrider comes in only a black or a white model, whereas the Atom Plus, you can customize this to any color that you wish. You can just go online, go on their website and ask for any color that you want. You can define those in an email. You can speak to Tom, uh, speak to the guys making it, and they'll tell you what colors are available in the VX21 and they'll make it for you. I went for this really nice, really striking black with an electric orange kind of strip on the bottom and a really bright orange kind of webbing strap that goes all the way around the sides. The only little bit of other color which is blue on this backpack is for the line lock adjuster for the trekking poles or for a ice axe. So yeah, very similar, but a nice little dash of color. Right, so that's how these backpacks look. Let's take a very deep dive into the components. Okay, let's start with the enclosure. Both of these packs have a roll down top, which is incredibly good for waterproofing. It's also very good for extending the height and the depth of the backpack. The HMG has a Velcro strip along the top to fasten the lid, whereas the Atom Plus has two little snaps on the top. I really prefer the snaps because they help me kind of line up the lid of the backpack so that when I'm rolling down the top, it's all completely neat and straight. Whereas with the HMG, the Velcro sometimes gets all knobbly and bobbly. Things get stuck in it and you can't really line up the top of the lid properly. So you end up with a wonky roll down on the pack. So yeah, really good one on the snaps. Definitely a feature that I much prefer. Both of these packs on the top have really similar side release buckle clips, but the difference with the HMG and the Atom Plus is that the HMG actually has the side release buckle clips coming down the side and then you have kind of compressed straps on the side which actually make the top of the lid bend down like this so that it's much better when it's uh, raining so that all the water kind of draws off. With the Atom Plus however the compression straps aren't there so you have to kind of clip it together on the top just side by side. This just means that when it's raining water can actually pool on the top so if you haven't got anything on there and the packs kind of rested like this water can start to collect on the top whereas with the HMG the water just drains off the top. I do prefer this way on the HMG for waterproofing but also allowing us to compress all of the contents inside the backpack along the sides before you actually cinch around the Y strap, that's really good as well. All of that said, Atom Packs did offer to put the side compression straps on there for me, but I decided to just leave them be for now and see how I get on, and I can just add those on at a later date at any time. On the other hand, with the HMG, this is how the pack comes as standard, and I don't think they have any customization options on their site, so when you buy it, that's how you get it. 
Okay, Y straps. Both of these packs come with Y straps on the top, which are almost identical. However, with the HMGs, the webbing material that these are made out of is slightly thicker. Both of these are bar tacked on the main compartment twice. However, with the HMG on my first hike of the South Downs Way, I think I'd probably taken this out once or twice. The top bar tack on this Y strap fitting actually started to come loose and came straight off as soon as I strapped something to the top. The Atom Plus, on the other hand, that hasn't happened at all. It's still looking strong. The bar tacking is really good quality. Uh, so yeah, can't fault them for that. While I was getting this backpack made, Atom Packs actually did fix the one on the HMG, which is really nice of them. Both of them have taken a really solid beating and they're holding up really well. I really love the Y strap for compressing things down, but above all, the most important thing about it is that you can strap stuff to the top and the outside of your pack. It's really good, really nice feature. Okay, let's talk about frames. Both of these backpacks have a frame structure inside, which is removable. The HMG has two aluminium stays with it, which come out of these two kind of slots on the inside, whereas the Atom Plus has a carbon fiber rod, which is bent around into a U shape and fitted into the pocket in the back panel with a foam insert, which goes in front of it. So it's really good for comfort. They both do pretty much the same job and I haven't noticed any difference in comfort or weight or anything like that between the two packs. It's just a very different way of doing it. Looking inside the backpack now, the HMG's two aluminium stays are put in these little pockets and running down the entire length of the back panel is this kind of mesh pocket, which I think is meant for putting a, uh, a water bladder in there. And it's actually got an H2O exit on the side of the backpack for putting a hydration line into whereas the atom plus does have a pocket on the back whereas that's solely for putting the carbon fiber rod in its u-shape down into the little tabs that are inside there and then the foam pad goes on top of that so i don't think i'm going to be putting anything into the back pocket which is in the back panel of the atom plus just because i don't want to ruin anything that's going on in there uh, so it was quite good to have that extra little pocket going on inside the hmg i'd put things like my wallet and my car keys just in the bottom of that because I knew I wasn't going to need those for the rest of the hike. Uh, I could probably do that with this. I might just give it a little try uh, and see how I get on. But yeah, two pockets on the back panel of both of these backpacks. That removable foam pad that goes inside the pocket on the back panel of the Atom Plus does actually add a really good level of comfort to it. The HMG does have a sewn in pad in the back panel but uh, even still with that on, sometimes you can still feel things digging into the small of your back. Whereas the Atom Plus is a little bit more forgiving with that foam pad, so if you pack it slightly wrong, you're not gonna get something in the corner kind of digging you in the spine, which is really nice. Okay, shoulder straps. So this is where the whole thing starts getting really interesting and you start to see some really big differences. I found both of these shoulder straps to be very comfortable. However, they're very different. The HMGs is made of a very thin, very dense foam, whereas the Atom Plus is a much thicker, much more spongier foam. I do prefer the spongier foam on the Atom Plus just because it's a lot more breathable. I found when I was walking the South Downs Way last year in the searing heat, this uh, really thin, dense foam actually allowed a lot more sweat to gather under my shirt. Whereas this one I've hiked in some pretty hot weather already up in Snowdonia and this is a lot more breathable and a lot less sweaty. One of the biggest things about the Atom Plus that I really love is that as standard, it comes with these sewn in shoulder pockets. Perfect for sticking things like your phone, some snacks in there, a water bottle, having things to hand. So while you're on the move, you just don't have to start reaching into the back pocket of stuff. You don't have to reach around to get your water bottle. It's right there in front of you. Take some inspiration from some running backpacks, like trail running backpacks that I see people wear. Uh, so it's a really cool feature. One that I've put to a lot of use, really handy. Whereas with the HMG, uh, it doesn't come with one of those as standard, but instead it has this daisy chain on the front of the shoulder straps so that on their website, you can actually go to like an accessory section and you can purchase separate shoulder pockets so you can put whatever you want in there. And I think they're made up of different materials. Uh, whereas these ones are like really sturdy, really close to your torso and anything in there just ain't gonna budge. I haven't tested out these shoulder pockets for this and I never bothered getting them it's all the way from the US and I didn't think I needed them until I saw this. So if you own any shoulder pockets for the HMG, let us know what you thought of them in the comment section. Moving down, these packs both come with sternum straps. However, on the HMG as standard, it comes in the side release buckle clip with a little whistle. So if you pip this three times, get an SOS call going and you will hopefully be saved. I've never had to use it, uh, but it's always there if you need it. The thing is, this doesn't come with one, but with the Atom Plus, just get one separately and keep it in one of your many pockets. Okay, switching these packs around again. Both of them come with huge front pockets. The HMGs is a little bit larger than the Atom Plus. The Atom Plus has a little bit less flex in the material as well, but it just depends on exactly how much you're gonna be wanting to put in both of these backpacks. This uh, Atom Plus does come with an elastic strap that goes all the way down the front, so you can strap things in that 
as well as within the mesh pocket, uh, but the HMG is a little bit more simple and doesn't have that. Some people put their sleeping pad within the HMG's front pocket, which I've seen before. But with the Atom Plus, you'll actually just be able to put the sleeping pad within this cord uh, and everything else goes in the pocket, which is uh, just a different way of putting things in there, I guess. It's a big video, this one. Okay, let's turn these upside down so I can show you the side pockets. On the HMG, it's made out of exactly the same mesh as the front pocket, but I decided to actually go for like a Dyneema grid side pocket. But the big difference between these side pockets, apart from the materials, is that the HMG actually has like a, uh, an elastic ribbon or an elastic band along the top, whereas the Atom Plus has a line lock adjuster so you can really secure what's in there. Countless times if I had the HMG on and I've kind of bent over instead of bending my knees and just bent my back, and then my water bottles have all just fallen out the top. Whereas with the Atom Plus, you can put the water bottles in here and then put this strap on top, really fasten that line lock adjuster out and stuff just isn't gonna fall out of there. I've yet to actually experience the same issue with the Atom Plus. So uh, yeah, it's definitely something that I prefer. I'm glad I made the switch. Both of these packs come with drainage holes on the side pockets. On the HMG, you've got a little grommet here and on the Atom Plus, you've got like a little slit that's just cut into the corner of the side pocket. With the HMG, the grommets have actually come off on one side, which I think you can see there. Uh, which when it's not too much of a problem but when the grommets come off all of the fabric on the inside of the grommet actually starts to come loose as well so it's just a bit of a better feature to have this just kind of sewn out and cut out of the sides on the atom plus it's just a lot neater and tidier okay ice axe loop these both have an ice axe loop on the front on the HMG it's on the center and on the Atom Plus it's a little bit more to the left. And what I really prefer about the Atom Plus is that the ice axe loop is lined up perfectly on the side with the little blue line lock adjuster cord so that when I'm putting my ice axe in or if I'm putting my trekking pole in there, I can actually really fit that in very nice and neatly. Whereas with the HMG I've seen people putting the ice axe in, twisting it, wrapping it back around and bending it to the top and they've had to kind of bend it underneath the Y strap and fasten it that way. I don't know how secure that is, I haven't actually tried it, but I've seen people doing it, it probably works fine. But I just prefer that this ice axe loop is to the left, lined up with that line lock adjuster. It just seems like it's more purpose built. Okay, let's talk about hip belts now. There are a bunch of really big differences and it's probably the one component with the most amount of contrast between these two packs. The HMG's is completely sewn in, whereas the Atom Plus is removable. The HMG's hip belt pockets are also completely sewn in, whereas the Atom Plus, they're also removable. So with the Atom Plus, you can have a hip belt or not, or a hip belt with pockets or not, whereas with the HMG, it's a hip belt with pockets and that's it. The HMG's hip belt is again made with this really thin, really dense foam, whereas the Atom Plus has a much thicker foam. I think it's pretty much the same foam as the shoulder straps. So again, that's really good for breathability. To be honest, my favorite difference between these two hip belts isn't actually the removable hip belts or whether they're sewn in or not. It's actually the way that you fasten it. So with the HMG, you have to pull the straps apart. So you actually end up putting one arm in front and putting it in front of your body and to the left if you're doing the left one. Whereas with the Atom Plus, you just put both of your hands in front of you and you push them together and it tightens the hip belt. It's just a much more ergonomic way of doing it, a much more efficient way of doing it. You, all of your strength is in the push. Your arms are a lot stronger in the pushing action instead of the pulling one. So it's much better on the Atom Plus. It's just much easier to get an even grip with this method and so much quicker. It's such a small thing that makes a really big difference and that leads me on to the next feature which the HMG doesn't have and that is a bottom pocket. Packs have been utilizing a bottom pocket for years but HMG decided to leave it out of their models. I literally think the bottom pocket on this Atom Plus has revolutionized the way that I pack my bag the way that I hike, it's great for putting snacks in there. But what I really, really love about the bottom pocket is that they've actually taken the liberty of putting like a tiny little slit in there, which is like a little secret rubbish pocket, which is amazing because you've got all your snacks in the front and then when you're done eating one, you can just slot the rubbish in there behind all of the snacks. So it all goes in the same pocket. But at the end of the day, when you've eaten all of your snacks, instead of snacks in there, you've just got all of the rubbish. It's all neatly compressed in that bottom pocket. It's out of the way. You don't have to think about reaching into your back pocket or your shorts or going into one of the side pockets. And then if you get something out of the side pockets and it takes the rubbish out with it, it's not very good. It's just a really nice, neat and tidy way to get rid of your rubbish. It is, for lack of a better word, genius. I could see why they would leave it out of the HMG. The material it's made out of, you don't want to be scraping this thing on the ground. So when you put it down, you've got to be a little bit more careful. You've got to look after this bottom pocket. I know that I'm going to look after it because I really enjoy having it. So yeah, again, I can see why they left it out. Uh, this bottom on the HMG is just, it's almost bomb proof. You're gonna be able to really knock this thing about and it's gonna take a beating. Whereas with this one, you just gotta take a little bit of extra care. So who would choose an HMG 2400 Windrider over an Atom Plus? 
This is going to be someone who prefers the waterproof and strength to weight ratios that DCF offers out of the box. It's going to be a hiker who's expecting to carry a lot heavier loads with longer water carries, so they're definitely going to need that hip belt all the time. So who would choose an Atom Plus over an HMG 2400 Windrider? I think this is going to be a hiker that wants to hike a lot faster. They're going to want everything that they're going to be eating throughout the day to hand right there in front of them. It's going to be someone who's likely to carry a wide range of loads from next to nothing to the maximum capacity so that they can take the hip belt on or off as they need it. As I said, I've loved my HMG so much. It's been my companion for well over a year and it's taken me to some incredible places, but it's time for a change and I was just looking for something a lot more modular. I've now got so much more versatility, like I can change things, I can add things, I can take things off. It's just a better pack for me. I think it's a much better pack for those who are just starting out and if this is your first ultralight backpack that you've ever bought, it's perfect because you can chop and change so many things and decide on the fly, whereas with the HMG, you can add stuff which is fine, but if you want to take it off, it's all sewn in, so you pretty much can't. I love that this is seam sealed so much, but over time the seam seals have started to degrade anyway, and when I'm traveling, if I can remove the hip belt, that's just gonna be amazing, and I can just stick it in the overhead compartment, not have to worry about stuff dangling everywhere, it's gonna be really neat and tidy. Above all, I'm now able to test out carrying my gear in many different ways, whereas with the HMG, I was always in a very slightly walled garden. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the HMG, it's a brilliant brilliant backpack and the materials are fantastic as well. Uh, it just depends on whether you're a beginner or whether you know what you like. If you're absolutely sure you want all of this stuff sewn to the backpack, definitely go for it. If you're not too sure yet, the Atom Plus is the perfect backpack for you. Okay, campfire question. Do any of you own either of these backpacks? Do let us know in the comment section below. The Trail Hunter community would love to hear from you. If you'd like to see reviews of just these backpacks alone, then do check out both of the videos to my side here. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs if you liked it. Subbed if you loved it and I'll see you in the next one.